Hi everyone, this is Tora from Holy Dragons, all the way from Kazakhstan, and I'm going to talk about this COVID-19 situation or, <clears throat> for the project of Global Metal Apocalypse. So the first question I was asked was about uh, how has this COVID-19 situation affected your band's plans? Were they cancelled or postponed? <clears throat> well, luckily, or nothing was cancelled. We had to postpone our participation in a very huge Russian heavy metal festival, which is called our Big Gun Fest, which was to take part in Russia this summer. Lots of people already call this event Russian Vacuum because it's huge. Uh, it's for four days. Next summer, it's going to be five days. And there will be some big names like Destruction, Primal Fear, Sinner, uh, Rhapsody of Fire, Master Plan, um, Skid Row, Rust the Boss, uh, and others. Holy Dragons, of course. And um, we have to reschedule, well, this festival participation. The whole festival was rescheduled until next summer uh, then uh, another thing which we had to reschedule two times uh, was a gig of rage in Almaty so on the 24th of April we were to be supporting rage in their first ever concert in Central Asia uh, rage uh, was going to come to Almaty, uh, basically to Central Asia and Kazakhstan for the very first time. And we had to reschedule that um, first until the 29th of May. Then uh, now the final um, decision was to shift the gig until the 11th of December. Uh, because of all this lockdown, our borders are shut um, and uh, no flights and we're still on restriction orders not to have concerts and not to have a public places gathering uh, until the 30th of June, which is going to be uh, huge. So, um, lots of local gigs were cancelled uh, or postponed as well, but we were the last band uh, who ever managed to play a gig before everything went on the lockdown. It was on the 28th of February, and after that, in two weeks, everything, everything was stopped. So, um... um that's yeah that's pretty much about it second question was uh, about restriction measures here in kazakhstan uh, actually we had very strict restriction measures like for example people couldn't use their cars um, as they want so you uh, had to have a special permission to go all over the city, uh, so <clears throat> we only had to go to the nearest drugstore or to the nearest shop to get products or medicines or whatever was needed. So uh, it, it was really, um, it felt like an apocalypse has come. It really felt like a Hollywood movie when you were going to the shop and the streets were literally empty. You really felt like as if you were in some I legend movie and <clears throat> it wasn't very comfortable. Uh, then uh, we all went to working in line. Uh, about 70% of the population were working in line, including myself. I have a very good example of myself. I work as a teacher in a local university. And we went online teaching and that was a very interesting experience for me, both 
uh, educational and interesting and unusual as well because um, I've never worked online before so we had to have classes uh, <clears throat> using MS Teams and uh, first it was very weird to have classes this way and um, I could only hear my students I couldn't see them later I could see them too but in two weeks we all went pretty much to normal or uh, they did presentations or uh, uh, reports we had discussions and all the classes were almost the same as regular classes um, then um, um, what was good about this lockdown, <clears throat> our air in our city, which is very polluted, has been cleaned a lot. So, uh, in two weeks after this quarantine was announced, I was just going out and I understood that the air is very fresh. It was very fresh. It was, um, even tasty, if I could say so. So and um, we really were under very strict quarantine measures like in china i could say that or uh, if a person who has covid19 was detected the whole house was locked for quarantine for for two weeks so that was very very strict but probably due to that measures kazakhstan uh, has a very low lethality rate of <clears throat> just 41 death and we have 11 something more than 11000 cases of covid-19 which is also not a lot uh, comparing to russia or the united states so now of course after these measures are being gradually lifted uh, we have higher rate of cases per day uh, but um, it seems to be controlled and the COVID-19 seems to be uh, a lot less dangerous or, or it seems to be so <clears throat> what um, how has it affected our local metal scene well it has actually lots of bands went on broadcasting online we had lots of online broadcasts we did a couple of them also uh, in, in two social networks in russian social network contacti and in facebook which was um, a huge whole new experience to me as well and it really felt almost the same again uh, when all the people tried to communicate, we were trying to film and all the people tried to communicate and it was really interesting. And we had lots of people from all over the world and it almost f felt like it was at a regular concert. Uh, what I want to say in the end uh, to all <clears throat> the people who would be watching that, um, I really hope that this pandemic uh, has some positive things. Uh, for example, I think people started to value going to live concerts. Before that, we really lost the value of going to a live concert. Lots of people uh, didn't appreciate that they have this great opportunity to support the local thing. And after the pandemic is over, I think the heavy metal fans will get back with all this enthusiasm, with all their power and energy, which is being now conservated, and um, which is patiently waiting to be released, to explode, are going to concerts, supporting the people, and I think uh, the first gigs will be a huge success so please support your local bands uh, get back with the power and positive energy i want to say that you should be very positive 
about that um, anything which is done is done for the better so let's hope that this is going to be over very soon and our life will be back to normal and heavy metal will bring us all together with more energy than ever <laughs>